You're now watching The Wash. Daily. Today, the new Senator Schumer and a number of other senators have been very proud on 420 to come out in support of cannabis. Uh, Cory Booker and Elizabeth Warren all couldn't wait to put their tweets out supporting the idea of legal cannabis. You know, legal cannabis it has provided so many answers for a lot of the problems from the COVID-19 that people are now looking to cannabis as a hero, not a villain. And that's great news moving forward. Unfortunately, the way cannabis is being rolled out isn't really helping the people that should be being helped, but it's small steps, I guess, and we're in a better situation than we were 10 years ago because at least people aren't being put into prisons for cannabis use the way they were. Also in news, Illinois is looking at hemp and cannabis making rules that some are saying favor the cannabis industry versus the legal hemp industry. Folks who are involved in legal hemp are being put through the same safety guidelines that the cannabis industry is, even though hemp has zero THC, but the Illinois lawmakers are making sure that, that people who are making hemp aren't really making smokable cannabis with THC, euphoric cannabis, and not telling anybody. Well, it's a big battle in Illinois. Illinois has a lot of money coming in from the cannabis market. Obviously, they want to look out for their the interest they have in the cannabis market. They do much better when people buy cannabis over there in Illinois. Also in news, Senate Majority Leader has announced that the SAFE Act isn't going to go through unless it gets revised a little bit more. It doesn't address any of the key issues that need to be addressed before that law gets implemented. The SAFE Act protects banks from working with cannabis industries and from the people involved in those industries from being put into federal prisons for use of cannabis. Thanks for watching The Wash Daily.